It is the morning after that meal. I even stepped up and got even more treats. It's got a couple of, there was no ice cream, so I picked up some gas station ice cream. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of curious. So you know, I'll have one. It's kind of hardcore, but I think yesterday I was 187 or 6, 12 something. I have my phone. Let me wait for the. Uh... Probably like a lot of water weight. Holy shit, that ain't like six pounds of lead here. And about 10 pounds of body fat. Or 1% body fat, sorry. A percent. What is good, guys? Back in the gym. This is gonna be my first workout post-show. I've kept the tan. Had to keep the tan. Had to keep the tan, so. Um, I saw one of Dominic's, Nikolai's videos, and he had a video where he kept his tan, got donuts and stuff, and just smashed it. And uh, I've been waiting for this moment, so I still got my tan, and uh, feeling good, bro. Feeling mighty good. Tan just makes you look doper. Just makes you look doper, so. Let me adjust this lens a bit. No, not that way. Yeah, so. Got my favorite BE clothing on. Ready to kill it. Lighting in here isn't the best, huh? It's like as soon as I switch to, vi to video, it just gets kind of dark, but we're about to get it in. My girl has a leg workout and she's gonna get in, so. I was just thinking of an upper body pump circuit. Get these, just hit the calves, actually gonna hit the, uh, this will be the, uh, the shins, which boy are tight. If you see me, I like to do this with a roller. Roll the shin. Roll the shin. I don't get why when I switch to video it gets so dark. A little myofast vascular release for a pre workout. One hand, this will probably be better so I can't put too much pressure. Okay, good. Trying to get, get the calf. Get both sides of it. Soleus and the gas rock. How's that? That's better. I might try to put a little more pressure on it though. So I'll 
show you a good calf stretch. Why does it get so dark on? Lean into it. Just trying to get our calves open. Hope you guys can see, which I don't know if you can. Loosen up the ankles here. So I'm gonna hold her foot down. Put some weight on that. She's really focusing on gripping the floor and leaning into that. This is, a, this is a must, especially because she has knee issues. We want to, you know, we want to keep a safe knee position. Just holding that down. Grip it. It's nice. Do a few more. Okay, we'll do one more movement. The next movement is, uh, do you need help as far as balancing or can you do that yourself? Do what? Stay in that position. Try it again. But yeah, we're gonna put the weight on. Well, let me think here. I can hold the, uh, here, yeah. Just well, show me what you're trying to do. I'm trying to, I'm gonna load. So I'm gonna have you do get the same thing, but you can hold onto this, and I'll hold this. I'll hold the roller. So I'll hold the roller. It's like I'm gonna fall. <laughs> So shift sides too. So put, do like eighty percent weight on one side, you know? Yeah. And eighty percent on the other. So it's just eighty percent here. Ah. Right I think fall. Okay. Try it. Okay. Effectiveness today. I'm coaching. <laughs> okay. Right there, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's lean just on this one though. Just only the left one, that's all you have to do. Yeah. 
So your weight's on it? Okay. okay. Grip it harder, like really grip the ground, you know? Okay. Okay. That's good. I think you're good. That's good. Okay, guys, we are back here. Um, I'm gonna be coaching my girl through her workout. She's on a new plan, and this is this is the plans changed to this right now. I'm gonna try to get a pump in in between. But gonna be coaching her, making sure she has great form today. So. Let's get it. We watch the knee position. Looks good. Pushing through the heel, squeezing the uh, hamstring and glute. Looks really good. Keep that out of tad. Just squeeze that hamstring. Yeah. Nice. That was one? Nice. Making her use bands for these uh, jumping squats. Just to keep the form right, make sure she shoves out the hips and uh, stays in a good position. So. That looks a little safer. I wouldn't. Everything looked good. Looks good. How many do you have to do? Ten. Nice. Good work. Okay, now what? Is this a reverse lunge? Nice. Come on. Come on. Alright. Tight back, tight core. Nice. Let's keep that neck tight too. Yeah. Everything tight, yeah. I like that. Test that core. Tight core, tight core, tight core, tight core. Oof. Oof.
intro. Got the camera working now, so I can... Uh, let's pause. Are you switching light? Let's start again. Let's start again, because I want to... I want you to make a wider stance. Let's go again. I just, let's do a do with a wider stance. I want you to get your I want you to get more hamstring and quad. Let's go. And I'm gonna pull that knee out. Let's go. Okay. I think you should let this leg go back even further. Like let it don't, no weight, there's a lot of weight on this leg, just this one, just this one, just this one, just here, just here. Okay, I got That was good, that was good. Same thing. No weight, no weight on this, just here. Good. Heels, heels. Heels. Heels, heels in that right one, heels. Nice. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna switch you. Freaking Tam, bro. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'm going to be working on getting more content out there. This was a good, good fun video that I filmed last year right after the show. And um, it's funny kind of looking back on this. So as I watch myself hit these, uh, these, these uh, incline presses, I can, you know, one of the things I'm kind of picky about now, like as I watch it, I see, I see a, uh, this poor breathing. I don't really like the way I'm breathing. So yeah, this was a fun workout. Just me and my girl vibing, getting that good pump. Oh yeah. What a pump, what a pump. What a pump. But nice, okay. So here's my girl. She's back at it again. Oh, and I think that was the end. I think that was the end, so. I kind of took the camera from here. She went on to finish the rest of her workout, so. 
I uh, went to just kind of finish with the rest of my little upper body circuit. This is the first time I had hit this uh, 24, this particular 24. I think this was out by uh, Hayward area where the competition was. So I love this uh, incline, incline shoulder press. And uh, I forgot the exact name of it, but I feel like a lot of gyms don't have it. So I was excited to hit it. So just kind of continued with my little circuit and went to blast some shoulders. Was really feeling it. I mean, this was, it was just a great day. But one of the things you guys will see as well is like my training style has changed a little bit um, in future videos. Um, watching this, I kind of, I mean, I didn't know too much about, I mainly was just trying to hit the weight and squeeze the muscle. But now, I, you know, I, I incorporate more breathing and more form, you know, in my movements. But um, you'll also notice a lot more, I have a lot more explosive, I would say explosive holds explosive presses through my movements really trying to lead with the muscle group and just really get connected to it but overall I mean form looks good and uh, you know this was fun to be back at it watching my form critiquing myself because this is what I love to do this is what I've been doing for a while ever since I kind of started my first Instagram but yeah good <laughs> clothing though yeah and uh, I kind of I vary now between different shoulder press movements but um, this is definitely a staple I would say another thing with shoulders that I've been doing recently is kind of getting some strengthening the rotator cuff so and you can look up different videos to do that but making sure that you strengthen the rotator cuff day you know, I just feel like big but bloated <laughs> eating all these carbs white rice but yeah this is fun filming this another set here went after it looks like I went pretty heavy and oh, nice power power Power, man. I was getting it, man. I was feeling it. Hell yeah. I was buzzing. Post post show. Okay, it looks like I moved on to some, uh, they, had, they didn't have incline press, so they had, uh, I think this was bench press, but it's like, this one's a little different than the, the normal hammer I'm used to. But yeah, went ahead and kind of did some isolateral work, because I just felt like my, my right chest is a little weaker than my left, so really trying to bring in that. I've been consciously trying to bring it in the last year, like going as the show got closer, but that upper inner chest. And uh, I have a couple of keys that I focus on now to really engage that. So look out for that in a future uh, chest chest workout. But yeah, these look solid. And I, and I switched the two hand, just getting a good freaking pump. Look at that chest, just all my muscle connection. And yeah, when I'm training chest, I'm really thinking about coming across. So really bringing that uh, weight together. 
trying to get a full extension because you can see when I get fully extended, I get a really deep contraction. So, but yeah, I just focus on not really pressing straight, but coming around almost as if I'm in a fly. Some <laughs> that was fun. I just freaking squeezed it all out. I was like, you know, I had been working so hard for this show, so I was like, let me see now what let me enjoy this moment. Let me really look at these gains and and yeah, freaking savage. <laughs> Oh yeah, and then finished up with a little bit of arms, so. And had my girl here to help me with that last bit of recording, so. Arms have been, I don't know, arms have been, I always thought I had good arms. I never really thought about arms like that. Like I just, I never really cared about them personally. Like I was like F arms, legs all day, but. I don't know, since I got more into bodybuilding, like I've been, I've been hitting arms three times a week since the show and seen a lot of growth. And I, I mean, I do get it. Like I can see how important arms are. Like here you can see, I don't really like to look at my chest there, <laughs> but yeah, uh, arms are looking pretty good, man. They're kind of popping right there. So it's not all about, for me, it's not just arm size, but trying to bring up the muscle in there create more of the shape and yeah if, if you guys know me as I'll as I'll say I'm all about trying to get um being well balanced like I want a good achieve a good look but also be able to perform and be you know multifaceted oh man yeah that looks good man my arms are freaking popping right there some good good footage in here. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, this was fun. Thank you guys for tuning in. I got a lot more content. And um, it's exciting. I'm just excited to be putting myself out there more. And sharing my love of training. Because 
I love all aspects of training. So, yeah, let me know what you guys thought. And uh, I would say, yeah, definitely give competing a chance because it's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun, and um, but keep it fun. Signing out. Peace. Oh, <laughs>